Welcome to the 57th installment of Maple's Chapel. Today we will be talking about Jonah, as we have for the other installments. And today we will specifically be talking about how the book of Jonah involves you in your life. For my start to the sermon, I give you Maple's words of wisdom. Woe to him who pleases for the sake of thine own name, rather than to appall others with the word of God. What this means, this Maple's word of wisdom, specifically that you must set out to please God with everything that you do. If you spend your life making your own name good in the eyes of others, then what will you have done? You will have pleased yourself. The goal of life is not for one to please oneself, but rather to please God. This sermon is a shout out to the whalers and sailors of Nantucket. Remember, in Anuit it is your duty to hunt the whales, but you must respect God in this hunt. If you respect God and are good, the whales will be your bounty. You will enjoy the spermaceti of the whale. It will bring you much happiness and much riches throughout your life. However, God can always tell when you are sinful, and I know what you do out there with those Polynesian, loose and wild women. And if you are sinful in matters like this, the Leviathan will come for you. Jonah was sinful in the eyes of God. Not in the sense that he did many bad things, but in the sense that he did not listen to the wise words of God. And I want you to always be within God's light. Thus I bestow upon you a task. There will be many heathens on your ship. What I tell you to do is to not bring yourself down to their level, but bring them up to yours. This is the most important task that a man can ever do. It's what God wants you to do. To spread the word of his love and joy among all those who do not believe. And if you complete this task, you will be out of the grasp of the Leviathan forever. You may find that you are lonely on your long voyage on the sea, but remember, God will be with you. God will always be with you. Next week on Maple's Chapel, we'll find out who is more tragic, Jonah or Job. See you then. Maple's Chapel has been brought to you by the Association for Public Broadcasting, Nantucket. See you next time.